Hello! Welcome, my friends. Welcome back to the stream. The final stream of the day, I think. And we are going to finish off this uh, turtle's piece here. Okay, so in my mind, I'm trying to make some decisions of where how I want the supporting characters to go. And I don't know, but we'll see. But again, guys, if you want to ask me a question, and I mention this every stream, I prioritize the community tab. Okay, the community tab. So you go there and you ask your question. So once again, if you are, uh, this is the first stream you've uh, seen of mine, or if you're back for the, the day, okay, this is the stream here, okay? Or the community chat right here. Okay, this is where you ask your questions. You see people ask the questions already. Go to my channel here. Go to my channel. And you can do this on your mobile as well. Go to community and hit the first uh, post here, the comments. Sunday edition, draw turtle Sunday edition, and hit comment here. I will be prioritizing these questions first. All right, guys, let's have some fun as we uh, start uh, adding the supporting characters to this uh, drawing. So again, we have the, the two main ones, spl uh, Splinter we need and Shredder. I think those two are definitely uh, probably the, the ones that definitely ones that uh, need to be here for sure. April O'Neil, maybe Casey Jones, maybe uh, I don't know, Bebop Rocksteady. We'll see what I have time for. Okay. Now again, it's Sunday. Um, I do have things to do for sure, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And again, thank you to everybody in the live chat. Hello, everyone in the live chat. I see you there. But remember, I will pri be prioritizing the people in the community tab. Okay, so why don't we go ahead, let's go ahead and start drawing uh, Splinter and Shredder here. So we just get some Splinter right here. Splinter. Splinter. Okay, and I'm, I want to look at the old cartoon, like how they... Because, you know, I'm drawing I'm drawing them kind of like the old cartoon up you see up there, right? So I want to draw Splinter in that way. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me just uh, try to find a little bit of reference here, guys. Uh -huh. Ooh, that's a nice one. Go. Splinter. And T1990. That'd be a good one. 1990. Oh, that's the movie. That's the movie. Cartoon. Cartoon. I want to see what he looked like in the cartoon. Okay, he has more like a... Was it like a gi on there? Gi? All right. So let's do that. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to keep asking, answering the questions here. Uh, so again, for the community chat, uh, Muddy1052 says... Uh, thanks for these streams. Perfect time for me. I work nights. I get to wind down to this when I get home. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully, hopefully I'm able to put you to sleep. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Coming off the night shift there. Okay, Leo MS Master says, Hello, James. Laugh out loud. Do you plan on to draw Namor based on Wakanda Forever? I do plan on doing a Wakanda Forever piece, and if I do, uh, definitely, uh, Namor has to be a part of that, of course. He's the main villain. So um, I'm just gonna just give me a second, guys, because I'm gonna I'm trying to think how I want to lay this out. I'm trying to think how I want to lay this out because I, you know, poor planning. We call this poor planning. I don't suggest that any of you draw this in this way in terms of not laying it out first. I just kind of started drawing. I didn't make a plan. Okay, I didn't plan on where the, the supplementary characters would go. Or anything like that. I just start drawing. Which is a good thing and a bad thing. So now I'm just like, uh, okay, should I... How big are they going to be? Is it going to be like real-time big here? Or is it going to be like movie poster collage big? Where they, you know, they have a big head behind here. So what I want is a Splinter and Shredder. Yeah, Splinter and Shredder. They're kind of like uh, Magneto and uh, 
Professor X kind of, right? If you think about it. So do I want to splinter here and shredder here? I, th I think that's probably the best way to go. Because like, the only other way I, I could think is if I attach another board to this and make their heads like really big, but I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. So, no. so let's see here. Uh, next question here from Eugene Polivaka. Polivaka. Uh, when are you doing a Defenders of the Earth piece? What is Defenders of the Earth? Defenders of the Earth. Never heard of it, my friend. Never heard of it. Maybe you guys in the chat, uh, you guys know what Defenders of the Earth is? Haven't heard of it. <coughs> not it's starting. It's starting. I'm, I gotta, you know when you get sick, I, I'm starting to get mad at myself. I'm like, why did I make myself get sick? Why did I let myself get sick? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Uh, let's see here. Is that the original Guardians of the Galaxy with major victory? Is that the Defenders of the Earth? Is that what they is? Or it's not? It's not, so... I don't know what the Defenders of the Earth is. Uh, Eugene, but uh, if I like it, that's cool. Why not? And if you guys suggest it, why not? And if it's PG, why not? <laughs> I don't even know if it's PG or not. Even Splinter is getting muscles. Splinter is getting muscles. I don't care. There you go. question here uh next question from anime cool it's cool anime how do i start drawing to become a comic book artist like you what do i start learning and how to draw the marvel way good way for beginners like me um remember one thing okay to be a comic book artist and i assume you talk about comic book yes comic book artist it's about storytelling okay so when you open a comic book to say i assume you're reading comic books okay number one fall in love with the medium Okay, fall in love with the medium of comic books. Fall in love with that kind of storytelling, because it's very different. It's very different from movies. It's very different from all of those things. Okay, it's more than just pretty pictures on a board. Okay, it is. Um, what's it called? It's all about storytelling. So you would you study how artists put together story in comics? Okay. So the biggest thing, and I always say this, more than the, your actual rendering style, because of course your rendering has to be, your actual drawing style has to be commercial. Of course for Marvel to hire you, they have to believe that your artwork will sell their book. At the end of the day, your artwork has to appeal to the audience they want, and that it will sell the book, okay? That's how you get a job. They think that your art will sell their book, okay? Or tell their story in a way that, uh, what's it called, honors the story or, in, or even enhances it, okay? So, of course, uh, anatomy, of course, perspective, all of that's important. But what's even more important is your storytelling, layout, okay? Those are things that a lot of artists overlook because it's not the fun part about drawing these things. This is the fun part. This is the fun part. Just rendering and having a good, good time, making these poses, making cool co covers. But to draw a comic book, you got to tell a story. Okay? So, if you want to start just by the actual drawing, you totally could. You'll get your drawing skill, but understand that you will need to spend a lot of time learning how to tell a proper story. Okay? And there's so much nuances. There's a lot of nuance in, uh, in trying to tell a good story. So hopefully that helped. Uh, it's hard to say exactly where to start. Uh, maybe, if, you know, start reading a lot of comics and studying their storytelling while you're working on uh, your style. 
and then you could start making your own uh, comics, okay? You're only going to get, get a job in comics by making comics. So, the best way to do that, go find some scripts online. You can find all sorts of scripts online of past comic books. Don't look at what those original artists did. That's a mistake a lot of people make. They'll take a, they'll find a script and then they'll go find the art, uh, the original comic. And they'll do something similar. No, don't do that, okay? Find a script and then honestly try to draw it yourself. Okay, and see what happens. And there's lots of people with scripts out there. My friend Jim Zub, I believe he, uh, on his Patreon, he has a whole ton of professional scripts that uh, he gives to his patrons. So it's definitely something to think about. Okay, I'm gonna blow my nose again, guys. One second. So definitely have ebbs and flows today, guys, in terms of uh, my how I feel. Because uh, earlier when I started the stream, a lot of energy, pretty good. I, I can feel it waning now. I can feel, definitely feel, I can definitely feel it's starting to go a little bit. But uh, Finishing this piece, guys, by hook or by crook. We're going to finish this piece. I don't care. You sick, bro? Yeah, I am sick. I am sick. There you go. I don't know why you keep asking that question, Asim. I, I answered that already. I refuse to answer. There you go. Party Poison. If you ask that again, by the way, Asim, because I answered it already, I'm, I'm just going to skip over it. Okay, buddy? All right. Party Poison says, could you add pizza in the drawing? Yeah, I should. Right? I definitely should add some pizza in there. Maybe. We'll see. Let me get all the other stuff done first, and then we can go ahead and add some pizza. got to put pineapple on it just for you. Lay White Channel says, have you heard of Stephen Hassenfield? No, I haven't. I have no idea who that is. I assume that's an artist. I will assume, but no, haven't heard. And if it is an artist, I'm, I'm not familiar with, with the work. Okay, next question. Brian. My buddy Brian, have you already read the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Armageddon game? And if so, what are your thoughts on the evolution of Rat King and Krang? I have not. I have not. I haven't consumed much uh, Turtles um, Turtles content. I, like, I did watch the movies, the, the recent movies. I did watch those. But uh, really, in terms of the comics and all that stuff, I, uh, or even the game, because I hardly play games. Um, yeah, uh, definitely not familiar. But you tell me if it was good or not. See if you like it. Okay, next question here. Uh, Caliber 50 Customs again, my friend. Would you ever do a WWE or AW in a superhero theme? Like you did with the Fast Food Avengers. I would definitely do them in a uh, quote-unquote Marvel style. Turning them into superheroes, that'd be fun too. I'm down. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Uh, but let's see. Let's let's get a few under our belt first before we start uh, playing around here. But yes, definitely. Definitely something I'd be interested in doing. Uh, one second here, guys. I'm just going to check my splinter reference here. Look at Splinter, man. Splinter's awesome. Splinter. That's an awesome Splinter. There. Uh, Bearwolf13. Uh, will you ever draw Thundercats, Silverhawks, and Tiger Sharks? Oh, my. It's a one massive drawing. I guarantee I'm going to probably draw those again. I have drawn both Thundercats and Silverhawks before on this channel, so go check that out. I have done both. But in terms of... Doing them on an all like a like a retro cartoon drawing, maybe, maybe it's not in the immediate future though. I will say that won't be in the immediate cards, but maybe one day. You never know. Uh, I I don't um, I don't think I was the biggest fan of Tiger Sharks. I don't think I even seen an episode of Tiger Tiger Shark, Sharks. I'm trying to remember if I actually seen an episode of Tiger Sharks. I have heard of them. I have heard of them, but I don't think I remember. Tiger Shots, but big, big Silverhawks fan. I drew a Silverhawks drawing before when I was starting this channel. I have drawn a Silverhawks drawing, so if you want to see that, uh, you can find it on my channel already. There you go. Uh, from Aaron. So, I don't know. Solano, who's my favorite DC character? Batman. Batman. You want to ask me a favorite Marvel char character? Wolverine. I know. I know, kind of boring. Kind of boring. Everybody says those guys, but it's true. 
I don't want to lie to you guys. It's true. It's very true. Love Batman. Love, love, love. Love me some Batman. Love me some Batman. I can't think of any obscure character that I would like to play. Let's go Batman. Okay, so again, guys, if you want to ask me a question, go to the community chat. You ask your questions there, okay? So, Gabriel asks again, uh, which villain from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would you rather have chase you down? Shredder, Rat King, or Leatherhead? Uh, I don't like these questions. I don't like this. I'll admit to Gabriel. I don't like that question. I don't like this question. <laughs> Who would chase me down? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think about which one I would die faster. If I <laughs> Whichever one, maybe you guys can tell me. Out of those ones, Shredder, Rat King, or Leatherhead, who would you die faster from? Because they're going to get me, for sure. Guaranteed, they're going to get me. They're going to get me. So whoever can kill me faster, that's who I'm going with. That's who I'm going with. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Mario says, James, where can I find story scripts for comics on the net? Well, you look, Mario. There's a very good website. <laughs> that, but, but in all seriousness, that's where you go, man. Just, just Google it. Now, the comics experience, I don't know if that site's still up yet. Still. But there was a site called The Comics Experience that had a whole bunch of scripts you could find. But again, you could, you could just go to Google, man. You could, you could just definitely just go to Google and uh, find uh, find scripts uh, pretty easily. Pretty easily. But check out Comics Experience. Let, let me know if that site's still up. I don't know if that site's still up. But they, they used to have a ton of uh, professional scripts there. But I, I don't know if they still do that. I don't know if they still have it. No, uh, let's see here. See, Rat King would be a horrible death. So I don't I don't care about the horrible. I want fast. Fast death. Fast. Fast. Who would kill me the fastest? There you go. That's the one I want. Alright, now anyway. Anyway. Let's see if there's any more comments. Oh, one more comment here. One more comment here. Favorite Transformers characters from Lying? Um, Bumblebee, Goldbug, Ultra Magnus. I love Ultra Magnus. I think Ultra Magnus is fantastic. Uh, Cup for sentimental reasons. Um, that was my very first uh, like real toy that I got. Uh, my mom got it for me for my birthday. Uh, because again, we, did, we didn't have a lot of money. So if I did get Transformers toys, it would be like the smaller ones that were only like three bucks. Like things like Goldbug and, you know, all the smaller ones like um, Cosmos, like those type of characters because they were cheap. Uh, so Cup was my first one that wasn't like in that price range. The cheap one, right? And my mom, bless her heart for, for getting, getting me those when I was younger. Uh, Top Spin was my very, uh, you know, one of my first. Transformers, Top Spin. I think that was a gift. I think somebody gave that to me. So let's let's do that. Let's start with that. You know. Okay. So if, again, guys, if you want to uh, ask me some questions, again, uh, community chat is the best place to do it. As you see, I answer every single question uh, in the community tab. Okay. In the community. I'm going to give him more mouse-like ears. I, I know his ears in the cartoon is actually smaller. I'm going to give him like, like big rat ears. We'll, we'll leave it down to Marvel style, guys. Marvel style. Marvel style. Blame the style. Mama style. Uh, so. 
Uh, I'm feeling a little bit of low energy, guys. But I made uh, I made a promise I'm gonna finish this today. So we we will finish it off today. We will definitely finish this off. Okay, right on. That's why I've asked you about Steven Sandfield. He's the one who was behind Transformers in the '80s. Right on, right on. I just don't know who he is personally. Uh, so that's cool. But again, you know, all those Transformers. They were just about selling toys. I, my buddy uh, John Campion did this gigantic ram, rant about how he hates the uh, the original Transformers, the movie, because all it was was them killing off all the characters that we love, so we could all go buy new toys, right? All buy new toys of all the new characters. Though I love G two, man. I, I do love all the G two characters. I, I think they're great. I think they're great. All the G two characters. So. Stretch, guys. Little stretch. Ooh. So good, guys. You want to ask me questions? Head to the community tab. Community tab. Ask me your questions there. It's the best place to do it, okay? While I go ahead and render out the splinter here, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do Shredder next, guys. Okay, Shredder is going to be next. My marker's running out a little bit. Marker's running out a little bit. So. Okay, so we got another question here from uh, Trevin. He goes, Trevin Kraviti. Kraviti? Kraviti. He goes, hey James, first of all, your videos rock. No, you rock, Trevin. You rock, my friend. Uh, how many drawing papers do you usually tape together to draw your art pieces on while on the stream? Okay, these are all double page spreads. So two 11 by 17 pieces of Bristol board. That's what I draw on, okay? Uh, one reason I like to draw that house, first of all, it is standard comic book size for a double page spread. So when you open a comic book and um, you see uh, a piece, you know, a piece of artwork going over two pages, that's this is the size that they draw it at, okay? If they draw it tra traditionally, of course. Uh, and it, when you shrink it down, it looks nice, okay? When you shrink it down, for, in, this, in our case, the web, when you shrink it down, it actually looks pretty nice. So that's why I, I do it this size. So for those of you, uh, so in terms of dimensions, that is uh, 22 inches by 17 inches. Or for those of you who are not familiar with, um, with uh, North American sizes, uh, that would be two A3 boards, two A3 boards uh, that are taped together. So that's, that's usually the size I draw. Now, when I did the Transformers mural, the very first one I did, uh, each one of those pieces were eight comic book boards, okay? So eight times eight, that's 64 comic book boards that I used. So 64, so 32 of these, 32 of these guys, that's how, how big that piece was for the, uh, for the original Star Wars mural. Now, the second Star Wars mural, a little bit more. Uh, so that was nine pieces at eight boards each. So nine times eight is, eight is 72 boards. 72 comic book boards. So very large, very large. That's why it took so much time. So that's how it is. Okay, so next question here. A few came in now. Uh, Asim says, uh, favorite Star Wars character. Okay, uh, let's go with, um, let's go with my daughter's favorite right now. Let's go Grogu. My daughter loves Grogu. In love. She wants every single Grogu toy. Every single one. She absolutely loves Grogu. So I'm, as of right now, I, I'm going to say Grogu. Okay. Now, I would love to see Mace Windu back in Star Wars. I would absolutely love, love, love to see Mace Windu back in Star Wars. I think he's still alive. I think he's still alive. But I would love to see Mace Windu back in Star Wars.
But let's go there. Grogu. Grogu. So next question here. Next question here. And again, guys, if uh, you want to ask a question, go to the community tab. So nothing. Ask, is this the community tab? It is. You found it, nothing. There you go. So go ahead and ask another question, my friend, now that you found it. Okay. Next question. From Masup. Masup uh, Figal. Says, big fan of your work, James. Love from Sri Lanka. Okay, awesome, my friend. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Thanks for joining in on the fun. Drawing fun. Okay, so we're uh, coming up to the end of this splinter here. Let me just erase it, see if I like it still. Uh, from Lay White Channel again, can you do Squid Game in a Marvel style? I'll probably do that. Yeah. I'll definitely do that. Probably a little later on, though. Maybe we'll wait for that. Um... You know how they're actually doing it? They're try Netflix is trying to do a Mr. Beast and doing their real-life Squid Game. When that comes out, maybe we'll do the Squid Game then. But yeah, definitely. That sounds like a lot of fun. I think we could do something like that. I forgot to give him uh, like a really long nail. There you go. Uh, let's squash it. Let's squash it here. Uh, okay, so, okay, that's all the comments there. But if you want to ask me more questions, guys, go to the community tab. I'll definitely answer your question. Uh, let's see from Excel. Ask, uh, hey, Filipi fellow Filipino. What are you talking about? I'm Canadian. <laughs> Just joking, my friend. Heritage is Canadian, is Can Filipino. I, um, I've been to the Philippines many, many times, but I am, uh, I am uh, born and raised in Canada my friend but yes my uh, my heritage my parents all came from the philippines so mabuhay my friend mabuhay Good question do you have any experience working with wills portacio i have never worked with him i did meet him once in uh montreal comic-con quite a while back in 2017 or so 2017 had a wonderful guy wonderful guy uh, you know, it's all—it's always nice meeting uh, one of your heroes, and and he is definitely one of mine, Will's Potassium. So, uh, there you go. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Nothing says can we we could do a DC Mutant Turtles. DC Mutant Turtles. I think they did that already, right? They did that already. I think, like, uh, I believe they have a Batman Turtles crossover, if I'm not mistaken. They have a Batman Turtles crossover. So again, this is one of those that it's not out of the norm to see them drawn in this style. Many people have drawn in this style already. You've seen it already, so. Usually, I like to draw things that aren't, you know. For example, if I were to do Sesame Street. In a Marvel style. That's something nobody's really seen before. But Turtles? We've seen that before. We've seen it. Okay, let's go ahead and draw Shredder now. We're going to draw Shredder on the other side. Okay, a couple more questions came in here. Okay, guys, go to the community tab. Have you heard of the Filipino show Maria Clara at Ibarra? No, nope, I haven't. I haven't. Not too familiar with the... Uh, with uh, Filipino shows, but I do have I do have um, uh, the Filipino channel. It's really for my parents. Whenever they come over, I want them to watch something. But I, I don't really watch it myself. I I was a big fan of Wawawi when I was younger. Wawawi. I don't think it's called Wawawi anymore, right? It's called uh, Wawa Win, or I don't know what it's called. You can tell me. With Willie, that's one of my. I like Willie. He's hilarious. He's so funny. Willie reminds me of my uncle. I have an uncle. His name is Uncle Pat. He, he reminds me, uh, Willie reminds me just, my Uncle Pat's just like him. He's just like that guy. So you guys won't know who we're talking about here, but. Uh, so. Let's 
So I'm drawing the 1990s cartoon uh, uh, costumes here, guys. So that's what I'm focusing on. Hey Marisk, how you doing, buddy? Did I know that uh, Bishop was going to be Filipino? I did hear that. I did hear that. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> You're not gonna get me today, there, Marisk. I know you tried. <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, buddy. Okay, next question from Simon Davis. Have you ever considered doing a piece of the Alien franchise? I'd love to see your take. On the colonial marines we'll see um again i like to do things that are a little bit more on the uh on the rated pg side or g and aliens aliens a little bit on the rated r side because i do have a lot of uh crossover from my kid show uh you guys know i have a kid show it's called time to draw and i do have a lot of crossover from that show so i want to make sure that if i if i do content that it's safe for them it doesn't necessarily mean it's like kids content but at least it's safe for anybody who watches that co that show and then wants to go watch my regular YouTube channel that they can watch my regular YouTube channel. So Aliens is probably one of those where it's like, mm, I'm not sure. That's the reason why I don't draw uh, Pennywise. I think, uh, you know, or I draw like Stranger Things or anything like that. It's more because of that. So uh, prob I, I would say probably not. Probably not. Uh, we drawing aliens. Though it would be a lot of fun for sure. I'm a big fan of H.R. Geiger. A lot of his work. He is crazy. That guy's messed up. <laughs> like his artwork's messed up. Pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. You won't get me, Maersk. Try to cancel me, Maersk. Oh, he's trying to come in over here and try to get me canceled. Here, Maersk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, Elijah has a fear of clowns. So if, if I drew it, if I drew, uh, if I ended up drawing, if I ended up drawing Pennywise, Elijah wouldn't come to my streams. And that would suck. So, I don't know, Simon. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, so from Trevin. Uh, Kravitzi says, hi again. Hello, hello, hello again. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do you feel a lot of pressure while starting out as a comic book artist? And how do you, did you discover your art style and continuously get better at it? Um, I would say it's always, both are hard. Trying to find a job in comics is hard. The second hardest thing is keeping a job in comics. Those are two biggest things. Uh, it's hard when editors give you hope, but they won't give you a job. Because a lot of times, editors, maybe they're being just nice or whatever, uh, they will give you hope. They will say, I really like your work and, and all that, but then they won't, you know, you won't get a job from them. So that's always the hardest thing. But once you get your first job, it's always exciting and it's scary at the same time. Of course, there's pressure because again, like I just said, it's one thing, one thing to, uh, it's one thing to get a job. It's another to keep it, the job. So you could get, you know, you could be lucky and get that one chance, but if you're late on the book or if you're on time, but the artwork isn't what you showed in your portfolio. That could affect you getting more work down the line. You really can. So yeah, a lot of pressure, my friend. A lot of pressure. How did I find my art style? I'm still kind of trying to look for my art style. But again, guys, it's always about trying new things, getting inspired by other artists, understanding what they're doing and trying to apply it to your artwork. And when I say other artists, doesn't necessarily mean... It doesn't necessarily mean comic book artists. It could be any sort of artist. And then you try to apply it to your job or to your work. Those are uh, definitely things I would do to kind of kind of hone in on what you're trying to do. In your life. So good luck to you, my friend. Good luck to you, Trevor. 
just want to say hi to Henry. Henry, it's been a long time. Been a long time, my friend Henry. Good to see you. And I'm not doing an Austin Powers collage because you're just like my friend uh, Marisk there. Want to get me canceled? Want to get me canceled? No, sir. Anyway, next comment. Fun fact: Wayne from Wayne's World is also Shrek. I th yeah, I think a lot of us knew that already, my friend. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Mike Myers. Big fan of Mike Myers. Remember, I'm old. I'm an old guy, so I remember SNL. Mike Myers, so. Oh, fun fact for you. Did you know that it wasn't supposed to be Mike Myers? Did you know it was supposed to be Chris Farley? Who was supposed to be Shrek? Did you guys know that? It wasn't Mike Myers. It was supposed to be Chris Farley. But then Chris Farley passed away. And then we got Mike Myers instead. So there's a fun trivia. You give some trivia to me. I give it right back to you. There, there you go. So there you go. Go lift some weights, my friend Mario. Go lift some weights. I want to lift some weights too, but I'm not feeling well. Lift some weights too. Well, what, what is your opinion, Mario, on training while you're sick? Is it better to, uh, you know, rest up and get better? Or do you think training actually helps you get better? Because I've heard conflicting things about that. I'm just wondering your opinion since uh, you are a workout connoisseur, as we say. My friend. So, but while he answers that, I'm going to answer another question. Muddy says, so no Fritz the cat in the style. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. If you could train, you could train while, while sick. Yeah, okay. All right. Right on. Even just going for a walk or something like that, maybe, at the very least. So I'll admit even right now, I'm even just scared to go outside. I want to get more sick than I am, you know, especially since I have a show next week. I don't want, I don't want to get sick for the show. I'll make sure I'm 100%. Yes, drink a lot of water. You know what I drink a lot of now? Is this club soda. It's just water and salt and carbonation. That's all it is. I just drink club soda. Uh, it, you know, instead of drinking a, uh, a soda, um, this, just, this just hits me with carbonation. But once the carbonation is gone... It uh, just tastes like salt water. Like, blah. Hey, hey, bro. I've Ivan. My friend Ivan's here. Guccio. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but uh, my friend. I didn't know you had something called Fusion Films. Good to see you. Uh, I'd love to see your take on Youngblood. I would love to see my take on Youngblood. I'd love to do a Youngblood piece. Uh, we were discussing before. Uh, with you guys here that I would actually do an image comics drawing so for those who know who know and for those who don't know I can educate them on what it is and the characters while, while I'm drawing it so that would be a fun thing to do I think if we uh, did it. AJ I'm, I'm going to do it as good as I can be uh, a Martin Gamer has been subscribed for 7 years in first stream thank you for being here my friend a Martin Gamer hopefully this isn't your last hopefully uh, you enjoy yourself here, while you're on the stream. But I'm here to uh, answer all your questions. I like answering all your questions here. So, thank you. So, but yes, I would love to do, definitely love to do, definitely love to do uh, a, an Image Comics piece. Because again, it's more my history, right? It's how I became an artist, Image Comics. So. Ethan's like, where's the brush for inking? Out. I don't have any more. <laughs> I think I used them all. Let me see. Do I have the brush? Let me check. I see a box here. Oh! Oh, thank you. I think I have one here, Ethan. I got I got a couple. Two left. Two left, guys. I haven't used this for the past two weeks. I think I will use it. Thank you very much, Ethan. There you go. There you go. X5 Tiger says, what do you think about the Chris Hemsworth situation? Very sad situation. For those of you who don't know, uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, is probably going to take a break from all the Marvel stuff because he found out that he is um, he is susceptible to Alzheimer's disease. And isn't that life, guys? Isn't that life? You see a guy like Chris Hemsworth who you think has it all, right? Like he has the body all of us want. All of us uh, guys want, right? He has a, uh, you know, superstar. Everybody loves him. Funny dude. And then life throws a wrench like that. 
into his life. So I w wish uh, Chris nothing but the best. Hope he does what's best for his family. Uh, you know, because at the end of the day, we're we're just fans. You know, we're we're fans. We you know we love watching Chris in the movies. We love watching Thor and all of that. But for him, like family's first, as it should be. And he is he's got to do what's right for his family. And let's hope that he's he'll be able to get it under control, and that he can still do some Marvel movies. But that's really secondary. That's really secondary to him getting healthy for his family. So uh, well wishes to uh, well wishes uh, to Chris Hemsworth and, and his family. And, ho and I'm hoping everything turns out well, well for him. But that's life, man. You think somebody has it all, and then all of a sudden, something like that happens. You know, that's life. But the thing is, also, you can't worry about that, right? You can't worry that you're going to step into the car and you're going to get a car crash. You can't worry about that stuff. It's either it's going to happen or it's not. All you can really do instead of worrying about what's going to happen to you tomorrow is just live life to the fullest. That's all you can do. That's all we have. You know? I taught, uh, you guys know I'm a, I'm a, I teach uh, Sunday school to kids. One thing the Bible does say, and I know a lot of you uh, don't believe in the Bible, that's okay. But uh, one of the things it does says is worrying doesn't hour, add an hour to your life. It doesn't. And that's true. You can sit down and you worry all you want about life, but it won't help the problem. It won't solve the problem. So all we could really do is just try to live life at the end of the day. So that's all we can do, guys. That's all we can do. And so again, good luck to Chris. Uh, wish wish him and his family all the best. And hopefully we get to see him again. I, th I think he is going to do like one more movie and then that's it. I think that's what he said. He's just going to do one more movie and then that's that's uh, pretty much it. So is the disease curable? I'm not I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too sure, Mar Mario. I'm not sure. Uh, that's the extent of what I read. So you, you guys can tell me if if uh, if you read uh, if you there's more information, but from uh, what I read, from what I read, uh, that's uh, that's the situation. So so good luck to him. Okay, uh, next question here. Let's see if there's any more questions. Let's see, okay, a few came in. Uh, fun fact, Jimmy Woo is in the Paw Patrol movie, right on. I do have a Paw Patrol, uh, movie coming up, a uh, movie. I do have a Paw Patrol video coming up, guys. I did a Paw Patrol drawing. And it's a lot of fun, okay? But it won't be out probably next week, guys. Because I still gotta edit the video. The, foot, the drawing is done. And I actually really like how it turned out. But I did a Paw Patrol drawing. I did a Paw Patrol drawing. So, we'll see if you guys like it. We'll see. We'll see if you like it. Uh, next question here. Next question from uh, Elijah. Could you draw Young Justice? Maybe James Gunn will see it and give us season five. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think all the. Uh, all the TV shows are toast, eh? They're, they're all done. All the TV shows. It's going to be interesting. We're going to know sooner than later. We definitely will. They said that uh, we'll know in, in a couple weeks their plan. And we'll see what they do. And, and I'm rooting for them, and I, I hope it does well. Like, I, I never root for a, video, a, a movie to do bad. You'll never see me root for a movie to do bad. I always want movies to be good because we spend our hard-earned money going to these movies. Right? You know, no matter how much you pay for a, for a movie ticket, that's hard-earned money. We worked hard for that money. So I want everybody to get their money's worth whenever, for whatever movie they go to see. So let's see. We'll see what happens. But, I, yeah, I think the... Uh, I think Young Justice is toast, buddy. Or Titans. I think Tyson, Titans is done. Titans is done, man. So, a couple more comments came in. Again, guys, if you want to ask me a question, uh, definitely go to the community chat. That's the best place to answer your questions. Okay, here we go. Trevin, ask a question I love to answer. Uh, 
what are some tricks on growing an art YouTube channel? And how often should I should one post artwork video? Started YouTube a couple weeks ago. Thank you for your answers. Well, good luck to you, uh, Trevin, and congratulations on starting a, a, a channel. Now, you are starting. You're very young in terms of your channel age. Right? You just started a couple weeks ago. Okay. At this point, uh, Trevin. At this point, you're so early in the game. You're so early in the game. This point, it's all about trying to figure out how to do YouTube. Okay. I would tell you try to make as many videos as possible to try to find out what works for you. Okay. What works for you? I wouldn't be concerned about trying to blow up overnight. I wouldn't uh, be concerned about trying to get a video to go viral. Uh, I, I, to be honest, there's actually downsides for videos going viral too early. There are. Uh, whether you believe me or not, there are. But where you are, where you are, I would say just get in the habit of creating. Creating the artwork that you like to make. Okay. Now, in terms of discoverability, because you're starting at this point, my friend, I would tell you shorts, 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 short shorts. There you go. I wear short shorts. Look up what kind of shorts people like, because it's a specific style too. If you if you watch uh, art shorts right now, on TikTok or even YouTube. Because a lot of them, they're just rep rep reposting their TikTok shorts. You see what they do. It's like these mini music videos. It's a lot of real-time, close-up of hands type thing. And see what works. Okay? See what's working. See what people are responding to. Okay? If you... I'm doing. Definitely don't do what I'm doing. Don't live stream for like four hours every day in the morning. Don't do that. Okay? In 2022, 2023, that's not a way to grow your channel. I'm not doing this to grow my channel. I'm doing this to, because it's fun. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. Don't try to grow your channel the way I am right now. Well, I'm not even trying to grow my channel, okay? If you really want to grow, shorts, guys. Shorts, 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 shorts. Okay, that short, short reference went over everyone's head except for yours, Maersk. I know you do. <laughs> you know me too well, Maersk. Yeah, I gotta go, go to uh, New York, man. We gotta go have dinner sometime, my friend. We have some dinner sometime. Uh, one second. YouTube is putting so much money behind shorts. Everybody should be making shorts. Even me. But I'm not. Uh, now, it's actually... I, I actually find it harder to get monetized doing shorts because you need 10 million views within the span of three months for shorts. That's hard, man. That's not easy. Then uh, to, get, to get monetized, you need um, for regular videos like mine and live streaming, uh, you need uh, 4,000 watch hours, 4,000 overall watch hours, and you need uh, 1,000 subscribers so to get started paid by YouTube. Okay, that, to me, that's easier. That's way easier than trying to get 10 million views on shorts. But at the same time, YouTube is pushing shorts hard. Hard. So if you're trying to do art short, um, art on YouTube, that's where I would start, my friend. Try that. Okay? They're easier, too. You know, the best thing about shorts, you don't have to make thumbnails. The titles don't really matter. Okay? It's all about the actual video itself. Really, your thumbnail, and Mr. Beast said this, Really, your thumbnail in a short is the first few seconds of the video. That's your that's your uh, that's your uh, thumbnail for a short. The first like three to five seconds of a video because that's all it takes. L less than that sometimes for people to swipe up. That's your thumbnail. The first thing they see when your video pops up in their feed. That's your thumbnail. So you gotta concentrate. If you guys are doing shorts, you gotta concentrate on those first three seconds and make sure it's intriguing enough for get people to stay to watch the whole thing okay but at this stage my friend especially uh how young you are i i assume you're a young person or you could be even be an old person it's not about trying to get viral right away i would say get used to creating content get used to being get fall in love with creating content fall in love with it because if you're in love with creating content, if you enjoy 
the content you love, you're making, then if things aren't working out, you'll still be doing what you're doing. And you take me, for example. I'm a, I'm a good example of that. Like right now, you look at the numbers on my, my live, right? Compared to my regular videos, they're very small, right? In terms of views. But it's not about that. If, if you know, if I, if I was worried about the views on these on these live channels, on these live streams, I wouldn't even do the live streams. Because it's not, uh, what's it called? It's, it's not really, uh, you know, bringing in anything new. Oh, I'm going to use my brush pen. I'm going to use my brush pen. see here shogun warriors i've heard of shogun warriors henry uh henry I definitely heard of shogun warriors and i saw you said beetleborgs earlier beetleborg that'd be a fun one to do for sure beetleborgs um so that's what i would say to you my friend okay fall in love with making content first before trying to get viral it is much easier to get viral today well i would say viral today like see, see i think and a lot of other creators think that tiktok it kind of it gave people success too fast to the point where when they and the success you get on TikTok today it doesn't last long at all sometimes people are only famous or relevant for only like a couple weeks and then they fall off and then they don't know how to handle it they don't know how to handle for going from a million of millions of views on every post to only a few thousand for every post and what they were doing before doesn't work anymore. Like, uh, for example, have you guys seen the uh, the food dance guy? Have you guys seen the food dance guy? You know, he would have this giant pile of food. He'd bite it and then he'd do a dance like this. And then that started this worldwide trend of people doing that. Even Gordon Ramsay did it. But where's that guy now? I saw him on his channel. Uh, oh, I don't. I won't say recently. Recently, but he was still trying to do the same thing. But nobody's watching him anymore now. So that's a point where viral doesn't necessarily mean it's going to change your life. It's all about what you have to do with it, you know. So, so to my friend uh, here, Trevin. Good luck to you, my friend. Uh, see what other creators are doing. See if that's the type of content you want to do. Experiment. See what works for you. At this point, you're so early in the game here that uh it's all about trying to get the best content you can out right now okay and my friend john campion says you're at you know, people always ask the wrong question when they're asking how do i get viewers and subscribers it's the wrong question the right question is how do you make content that people will enjoy that should be your question that's the right question and thank you to uh i forgot who it was reminded me about the the brush this is way better i'm enjoying the brush now Okay, so next question here. I love the YouTube questions. They're great. Hey, guys, now there's something I wouldn't ask me. Don't ask me about uh, trying to get into comics today. Ask me about uh, YouTube, okay? Ask me about YouTube. Again, I'm probably not the best best. I had a little bit of success. But I can give you a little bit of pointers and get, help you start your journey, okay? Next question. Next question here. Uh, well, not a real question from my friend. Bread here? I can't eat bread. I'm on carnivore stuff. Uh, good video? Feel better. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. From Buddy again. That's a bummer. Definitely a bummer to hear about Chris. I'm dealing with some life-changing stuff myself. Oh, uh, that's that's uh, hard to hear. Muddy. Let's hope if it is something. Let's hope. First of all, let's hope it's nothing. Secondly, if it is, let's hope you found it early enough. Um, but all the best to you, my friend. All the best, and let, let's hope it's uh, it's benign. Uh, he, he found a lump, and let's 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 hope that it's benign and that that uh, everything will be okay, my friend. Okay. Um, unfortunately for me, I me and my wife found out about her her illness. She was already in stage four. That's pretty much uh, you know when you find out somebody's in stage four. It's a death sentence. That's what that is. Stage four is a death sentence. It's not no longer. It's no longer what we can do. It's like, how long do we have? Okay. But at the same time, you know, we looked at ourselves and we go, okay, if we only have a limited amount of time together, 
let's make the best of it we can. And again, I'm so happy she got to see the success I, I have on this platform. She got to see, uh, you know, a lot of different life events we had while she was still here. So uh, my heart goes out to you, Muddy. Uh, hopefully everything turns out and that you have a long, prosperous life. Go for it, my friend. Uh, next question here. Let's see if there's anyone. Oh, a couple more questions came in. Uh, let's see here. She said, Ahmed says, I've been a fan of you for like years. And I was wondering if maybe you could draw Stranger Things drawing. Uh, maybe, uh, again. And, uh, you know, that consultant I told you I, I had. He, re he really wanted me to do a Stranger Things drawing. Um, you tell me. How appropriate is Stranger Things for kids? You guys in the live chat there. How appropriate is drawing Stranger Things for kids? I, I, I can't really answer that question because I never really saw it. My wife watched it, but uh, I never really saw it personally. Most kids watch it, Elijah says. Because, yeah, I, I hear a lot of people wear those uh, uh, outfits, right? You know, I think you're right. I, I think a lot of people, kids watch Stranger Things. <laughs> Asim says, not good for kids. I, I think that's one of those things. I, I better watch it myself just to make sure. Just to make sure, you know. Just to make sure. Want to be safe. Money ice. Yes, Sir Gallon. Money ice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, let's see here. No bad language. That's right. There's no bad language here. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess I have to watch it myself. I gotta watch myself to know. Because things like the Demi Gorgon, stuff like Vezna's beer, extremely popular these days. So. Okay, next question. James from Elijah. James said, do you need to do very well in high school to be accepted into art school? Uh, if you are talking about grades, uh, no, not at all. Art school is just like the com it's just like the art industry. It's not about it's not about grades at all, at all. It's about your portfolio. It's about your drawing skill. That's how you get into art school. It has nothing to do with your grades. They want you to pass, of course. You need enough to pass, but. In terms of getting a, you know, an A in biology or anything like that, no, they don't care. If it came down to the person who got an A in biology but their art's not so good, to the person that's really good in art but got a D in biology, they're picking a good with a good art. Think about it this way: a lot of these colleges, at the end of the day, they want people to do well in their course. They want people to do well in their course. And get a job after because it makes the course look good, right? It makes that course look good that they could sell to other people. They could say, oh, uh, you know, we uh, we accepted this Elijah kid. Now he's this big time uh, concept artist at, at DC, right? That's good for them. So they're going to pick people they think are going to thrive in their program. That's who they're going to pick. Uh, grades mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I will even say the same to you in terms of um, grades in college itself. It doesn't matter in terms of trying to get a job. Okay? Now, they are a good indication of how well you're doing. Because the way I grade, I would tell them, would this work? Okay, what I'm teaching you, with the assignment you're giving in to me, would this pass in the industry now? That's how I grade them. If I feel it could actually work in that in the industry now, then they'll get a good grade. If not, they're gonna get a bad grade. So if they get a bad grade, that means that their work's not good enough. Okay, in that way, it's just an indicator for the student to tell them, hey, you need to work on these other things. But in terms of going to Marvel and showing them, oh look, oh look uh, Marvel, oh look Disney, I got straight A's in all my classes. It's not gonna hurt but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what matters is your portfolio what matters is what kind of artwork you have okay 
So again, same goes for high school, okay? I think academics only really matter if you're like you're going into like medicine or, or stuff like that. You know? That's when it really, really matters. All those grades. But in terms of trying to get an art school, no. Now, I would I would tell you, go research your art schools, go see what the requirements are, because there might be grade minimums. There might be. But at the end of the day, all these art schools care about, are you going to thrive? Are you going to excel? Are you going to make the school look good after you're done? That's what you got to do. Uh, Max them up. There were two of these two amazing, amazing artists that uh, they gave full scholarships to. Uh, to two wonderful, wonderful artists, and uh, it's they're one of the guys where you look at their work. Take on the course, they could get a job now, but they took the course because it was free. They had a free ride. And both of them are gigantic artists at Ubisoft now. They both won Ubisoft's uh, Rising Star competition, both of them. No, I think Zabby got third place, and then Denzel won the thing the next year. And both of them are big Ubisoft concept artists now. So the school, it looks fantastic. The school, it looks great. They're like, oh, yeah, they're, they are uh, they are Maxima Mutt alumni. Yay, look at us. Look, we developed students that uh, end up going to Ubisoft. Hooray. But in reality, yes, we did help. Yes, we did help as much as we can. But in reality, they probably could have got there even before school. So that's what that's what school, uh, you know, that's the reality when it comes to school. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and draw some. Uh, what do you think? Casey Jones. Let's do Casey Jones first. Then we'll draw April. Okay. We're going to draw Casey. Uh, maybe I put like Bebop Rocksteady here. Maybe I'll put Casey. Because I'm thinking of April like here at the bottom. April's here. Uh, so, so let's go. Let's go. Next question. Let's see if there's any more questions. Oh, okay. If you guys, if you want to ask a question, best place to do it uh, is in the community chat. Okay. Go to the community chat. And that would be the best place to ask me your questions, okay? But in the meantime, I will go to the live chat here in just a second. Let me get some Casey Jones drawings. In the version I'm drawing, guys, I'm not drawing Stephen Amell. I am drawing the cartoon version, okay? The 1990s cartoon version, because I'm that cool. There you go. Are you gonna put Krang in here, Elijah? Maybe, maybe. Ah, there you go. Henry's uh, Henry's just uh, giving me a plethora of different things to draw. Thank you, Henry. Herculoid, Thundar, Centurions, absolutely. So let's go ahead here. I've got Casey in here. Uh. Should I squeeze Yusagi Jimbo in? Terror Bear Comics says, oh, maybe. Okay, oh, uh, a big hello. A big hello to Xavier and Elise and Dominic. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Good to see you. Good to see you. Why are they up so early, my friend? Why are they up so early? It's Sunday. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know, between streams, my daughter woke up. My daughter, my youngest daughter. Uh, she woke up early. So I, I gave her some breakfast before we did this stream. So, but hello, hello to my friend uh, Mar Marisky's kids. How you, how you doing, my friend? Hello, good to see you, my friends. Oh, there you go. He's going. They're going to church. So there you go. <laughs> hey, don't watch me in church, okay? Don't watch me in church. You do what you got to do over there. All right. Next question here. So let me see here. Next one. Okay, a couple questions came in here to the community chat. Uh, let's see here. Well, that's not a fun fact there, live. There you go. Uh, casual question from Trevin. Which journal is your favorite? And age-wise, I'm 22. There you go, my friend. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. 
Don't worry about age, okay? Like we all know teenagers, a lot of teenagers try to do YouTube, Trevin. I was 35 when they started YouTube. I was 35 years old when I started YouTube, okay? So uh, don't worry, you're way ahead of the game, way ahead of me in terms of uh, trying to do this YouTube thing. So good luck to you, my friends. Who's my favorite turtle? Uh, let's say, I will say, um, let's do, oh, I said that before, Leonardo. Leonardo's my favorite. I don't know why. I, I just took to, I, you know why? I think because uh, blue is my second favorite color. My first favorite color is yellow. So I, I guess you would say that, you know, but uh, yellow became my favorite color later on in life. One day I'll tell you the story why later on. Uh, there's actually a story behind that, why yellow is my favorite color now. But before, back then, my youngest daughter smiled. Before, back then, my favorite color was blue. So that's why I liked uh, Leonardo, because it's a blue color. Blue color. My, my youngest daughter's laughing at me right now. I don't know why. She's laughing at me. She's laughing at me. I put a hockey stick here. I like Casey Jones, though. He likes hockey. By the way, have you guys tried to watch the 1990 uh, Turtles movie recently? I, I I remember loving it as a kid. I absolutely loved that movie as a kid. I'm, I was trying to watch it now, and I'm like, uh, there you go. you're not too late, Mario. All of you aren't too late. I'm I'm sure none of you are uh, who tried to start YouTube are older than me. A couple of you are. A couple of you are. We talked about. You know, we talked. So you guys can do it, all of you. All of you can do it. You're going to be way more successful than I than I am on this platform. Guaranteed, my friends. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Do it. Woo! And then shout me out. <laughs> After When you guys hit it big, shout me out, okay? Then I want to shout out. There you go. Okay, next question. Um, Area Man ba Bahel says, "Can you tell me which markers are good for R, but also cheap? I'm trying to find best to find, but it's really hard to find cheap ones. It is, my friends. Um, I'm not the guy to ask for that uh, because I just started coloring with markers. I never really did it before. I never really did it before, but then I, I think uh, there was a challenge I, w I wanted to do with marker because I knew it would cost me an arm and a leg." to pay someone to color a piece that was so big. So I was like, okay, what if I colored it myself? I actually think it was that Fortnite piece. That's the reason I started using coloring, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was the Fortnite piece that I, I first did the coloring. Uh, and again, the reason was, I was we were trying to get it done on time. And I knew to, pay, to get someone to color it, for me 700 characters uh there was no way i'd be able to afford that or i could afford it but i'd be spending way too much money. something like that so that's why i started coloring um so i'm not sure i'm not sure what are the cheaper options because i just got the copics because uh that's what uh everyone was suggesting that i do copics and they're too expensive man. These, these are expensive stuff so maybe people in the chat can uh, give your suggestions on uh what uh coloring uh What's it called? One well, markers would be good. To start off, just to start. Because things like you see on on, uh, you, on YouTube, like people are using Copics and they're using Posca pens. Both super expensive, guys. Super duper expensive. So. You know, guys, um, I might just do a few more characters. I could feel it now. It's starting to wane down a little bit. I'm, I'm feeling a little uh, sluggish a little bit. But uh, I do want to finish this piece today. So we will finish this piece today. Uh, but uh, the amount of characters, I'll probably draw about three more. So uh, so you guys, April, we got Casey. And I want two more characters uh, in the, in the uh, live chat. Give me two characters after April and Casey. Because, of course, those two are going to be here. April and Casey, give me two more characters. Two more. Uh, 
Should we do Bebop and Rocksteady? I, I think Bebop and Rocksteady are the, uh, you know, makes the most sense. Bebop and Rocksteady and Krang. I think those three will probably be the best, right? Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang. Yeah. I said April already, Tim. I said April already. Um, talk about aside from April. Three more. Uh, Krang, 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 Krang. Well, the thing is, when I draw Krang, I got to make sure that you could see Krang. Right? So you got to see the belly, right? If I draw Krang. Uh, let's see here. So, slash. I kind of want, do want to draw Krang, though, if I'm not. If, uh, if I'm um, going to be honest. I kind of want to draw Krang. But if I draw Krang again, I, I need to draw the belly part. Right? You can't draw Krang without the belly part. Oh. Lady says, who would win the mask, the Grinch, and Eggman? Well, the mask would win that easily. That's su a super easy mask. Uh, Baxter Stockman. I was thinking about Baxter. I was thinking about Baxter. Okay, let's uh, let's finish Casey, for Casey and uh, April first, and then we will go. All right, let's finish off. and draw Irma. <laughs> oh. You know the way they draw Casey's face here in the cartoon. Yeah, Acrobat Kid. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back to the community chat, see if there's any any questions here. There's not. So, again, guys, if you want to ask me a question, please do go to the community tab. Best place to ask me a question. I'm not drawing the turtle van, man. I'm not drawing the turtle van. As fun as that would be, I'm not in the mood. questions came in here. Thank you very much for everyone asking a question. Uh, let's see here. Yo, I pronounced your name super wrong. Well, then I won't try. There you go. <laughs> but I'll call you Iron Man. Thank you, Tony Stark. There you go. Trevin says, does your back hurt when drawing for long periods of time? It can happen for sure. That's why they actually suggest that um, you draw with you draw with an elevated table, like table on a slant. Especially for comic book artists. Guys, if you're going to be a comic book artist, you want a table that slants. You really do. You really, really do. Because then 
If you don't, if you have a flat table, like I'm actually drawing on right now, you're really hunching over like this. A lot. It's not good for your back. It's not good for your neck. Uh, and you will have problems later on in life. Okay. Um, I have had many sore backs before, for sure. Definitely. Uh, so I would suggest getting one of those ta uh, drawing tables that slants. And, and get yourself a comfortable chair. Get yourself a comfortable chair. Because you're literally, if you're going to invest in anything, guys, a comfortable chair, uh, a good drawing surface, your table. Like, you could even buy those things you could put on top of the table to elevate your drawing a little bit. That will save you years of heartache with your back. Because especially in any art industry, you are drawing for 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 hours a day. You're there a long time. You're sitting for quite the while. A long, long, long time. So you want to protect yourself. Make sure that you're good. So that's a great question, actually, my friend. So yes. You know, it's one of those things, though. You know, it's one of those things where somebody tells you, hey, your, does your finger hurt? And all of a sudden, like, yeah, I think my finger hurts. When you ask that, now my back starts to hurt. Now my back starts to hurt. I am going to blame you. Okay. There you go. Comic Book Bob says, yeah, Scott Williams, uh, prolific inker. And uh, now uh, uh, he's a concept artist now, right? All right, Bob? I, I think uh, I saw that he's working for Marvel now as a concept artist. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. It might not have been him, but it was like a it was like an anchor. But he's now a uh, like a Marvel concept artist. I forgot who it was. But uh, had such bad back issues, he almost had to retire until he started inking while lying down on his couch. Hey, wow. Yeah, it can happen, my friends. So please, like especially you youngins, youngins, take care of your back now. Invest in a in a good chair, a good table, and you're going to save your you're going to put years. Save uh, years on your career. If you can afford it, of course. I said that's not a cheap thing to say. But uh, if you can, if you have the means. You know, for your first comic book check. Instead of going and then, uh, you know, buying a nice car or whatever. Go buy yourself a nice chair first. Comfy. Okay, so next question here. Uh, Elijah, if you could be any superhero or villain, which one would you be? I always say this, guys. I always say the answer to the question. I think you know the answer to this question, as many have asked me. Uh, I would either be the Flash or uh, Jamie Madrox, the Multiple Man. The ability to clone myself so I could get more work done. There you go. <laughs> That, that is my honest answer, actually. Those, those would be the two. You know, you could you could say, like, uh, hey, Superman has those qualities. I don't want the x-ray vision. I don't want people knowing I have x-ray vision. Everyone will look at me funny. It's like, are you, are you looking at me? <laughs> so. So we'll see. Let's see here. Uh, Asim says, who's your bigger supporter on your channel? Uh, I'm talking about like influence, maybe. Maybe. Not Jazza. He's only Jazza. Two guys coming to my Jazza and John Campia. Those two have been uh, real uh, inspirations to me. Jazza and John Campia, that's what I'll say. I, I already told my Jazza story many, many, many times. But, uh, yeah, I'd say those two give me the most inspiration when it comes to this channel. So. Uh, next question. I'm too happy with this arm, by the way. I'm not too happy with how this arm looks, but... Whatever. Next question. Uh, from uh, my friend whose name I can't pronounce. Uh, well, whenever I try to shadow, it always gets messed up. I can't figure out where I should give them a shadow, like uh, which is given in the comic. Again, you might want to start easy. 
Look for tutorials on shade on uh, not shading but lighting. Okay, my friend. Really understand how light affects surfaces, even if it means because if you're just not getting it, even if it means you start with something simple like a like a sphere or a cube and figuring out how light would affect that, that's a good way to start. That's definitely a good place to start. Tim Young's ask, uh, have you drawn Gears of War characters? I did. Got rejected. Go look for that video where I, I talk about me getting my artwork rejected. And, again, looking at the artwork now, they were right. They were absolutely right. They rejected my art. So no, no hard feelings to, uh, well, what's that, Bethesda or whoever the, the company is. No hard feelings to them. They were right. My, my work wasn't good enough. It didn't fit the characters. What I did, the drawing I did, didn't really fit what uh, the game was. I definitely did try drawing. I tried. It didn't work, but I tried. So these characters, guys, you remember before I was talking about how 80%, um, 20% of the drawing make up for 80% of it? This is a case like that. Like, I'm not very happy with this Casey Jones drawing I did here. But it doesn't really matter. Because as long as everything else looks semi-good, it doesn't matter if this drawing's not the best. It doesn't matter. Okay, so next question. From uh, my friend Knuckle Sandwich. Have you ever seen the live action series Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation from 1997? With the female turtle being. You know what? I don't think I watched that one. That's the third one, right? With the female turtle? Uh, female turtle? I don't think I watched that one. Oh no, did I watch that one? I love it. I'd have to check. Part of my head says I didn't watch that one, but part of me thinks I did. So, I'm confused. Okay, let's go ahead and draw April here. Draw April O'Neil now. So we come down to the end of this drawing. Oh, it was a lot of fun, guys. It's a lot of fun to do. Cowabunga, Elijah, cowabunga. Have you ever, uh, from Simon Davis, he says, have you ever read, read the British comic, 2000 AD? It's where Judge Dredd came from. Uh, but other great characters like Rogue Trooper and Stronium Dog. Nope, I never heard of it. No, no, I've heard of it. I, I've heard of 2000 AD. Never watched it, though. Never watched it. Or read it. Never read it. So, but I, I do like Judge Dredd a lot. Judge Dredd's a lot of fun. I haven't watched the movie. Have you guys seen the movie with uh, Carl Urban, Judge Dredd? So not the uh, Sylvester Stallone one, but the Carl Urban one. Have you guys seen that one? Uh, if you watch the Carl Urban one, they say that's a really, really good one. The Carl Urban one. He never takes his mask off. But uh, no, I, I haven't seen it personally. So that's one I want to check out, maybe. But no, I haven't read those. I'm trying to think of uh, British comics that I read. If anything, the closest would be like Marvel UK stuff. Marvel UK, Death's Head. Uh, there was one book I picked up. It's called Super Soldier. Super Soldier, which was an interesting book. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Area Man uh, wants me to say which one's my favorite country. Aaron wants to get me canceled too. 
But I will say in your list there, my friend, you don't pick you didn't pick the countries that I come from. Philippines and Canada. Because that's where I'm from. Philippines. Oh, by the way, one of you asked me about FIFA the other day. I didn't realize Canada is in the World Cup this year. Canada's World Cup, so maybe I will watch. Maybe I will watch. I'm total ba uh, bandwagon guy. Total bandwagon guy. Such a bandwagoner. But Canada's in the World Cup, guys. So I think I will watch that. But not with Arya Man, who wants to get me canceled. I will say this, guys. I, like, I'm, I'm so happy that all of you guys are, are watching me from all over the world. It means a lot to me. Uh, wherever you are in the world, uh, I'm so appreciative of, of you being here and hanging out with me every morning. And uh, thank you for being here. And a lot of the places that you listed there, Arya Man, I, I've been to. And uh, I hope to visit you wherever you are in the world one day, guys. Hope to visit you one, one day of the world. We have a big world, but it's full of people, and we're all the same. At the end of the day, we're all the same. So, uh, so hopefully, I'll get to see your part of the world one day. Uh, I've been to India, though. I've been to India. A lot of fun. I had a wonderful time in India when I was there. Again, thanks to my, my very, very, very good friend, Cheruvi. Uh, we talked about her the other day. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, next. Next question here. Uh, Elijah says, what's your best advice that you have for people wanting to go into comic books? I mentioned this before. Again, study sequential art. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. Love comics. Love comics enough that if you don't have a job, you'll still do it. You'd still do it. That's the test. That's the test. But that's, the, that's the test if you know if something's a job and if something uh, is a hobby, right? Would you still do it if you weren't getting paid? Okay, if that's the answer, then you're going to be you're you're going to be better off because you'll you'll withstand the rejection. You'll withstand uh, inter, uh, what's called comic companies rejecting you and sending you rejection letters. You could handle that because you're going to be doing it anyway. You would do it anyway because you're going to get it. You're going to get rejection letters. Everyone would love for their their first uh, what's called. Everyone would love it. If their first um, uh, portfolio samples, is that that got them a job right away? Of course. And does that happen? Maybe once in a while, but it very rarely happens that way. So if you're in love with drawing comics, though, if you're love, in love with the medium, then you'll withstand those times where you, it feels like nobody, you're not near where you need to be, but it's okay. Because you're still doing what you love doing, which is drawing comics. So, comics is hard, man. You don't make a lot of money in comics. You don't. You don't make a lot of money. Uh, the page rate isn't that great, even if you do get a job. It's better than a no job. So, you really got to love the medium if you want to get into comics. You really got to love it. Elijah says, come to South, America, South Africa. My dad's cooking will never make you want to leave. Hey, now you're talking. Yeah, you're speaking my language. There you go. Sounds yummy. Sounds yummy. Uh, next question from Trevin. Mine where Shredder was fused with the evil power, uh, Tommy Oliver. That's right. So yeah, their fusion was. I need to try. Yeah, whenever I draw things, guys, it's got to be something I'm interested in. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of, of uh, Turtles. I'm a big fan of of uh, Power Rangers. And that would be interesting. That would be definitely interesting to try. Uh, definitely not in the future. It's, whenever I draw something, guys, I'm not going to be drawing the same thing immediately. So we're doing a turtle drawing now. You probably won't see me do a, a turtle drawing for a few months. Because there's so many other things I want to draw. There's so many other things that I'd, I'd rather do. Okay, so you're not going to see me do another turtle drawing next week. Uh, but, you know, doesn't mean I won't do one. Because uh, you guys gave me some solid ideas, like doing the most detailed Krang. Uh, you know, just like you said, the Tommy Oliver Shredder combo, which I think would be a lot of fun.
So you never know. You never know. You never know. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. So go Canada. Go Canada. <laughs> and next question here. Next question here. Chicken biryani is amazing. I love, I love chicken biryani, my friend. Uh, I grew up in a, in a in a city called Brampton. And we have a lot of, uh, I had a lot of friends who came from India. So I absolutely love Indian food. Uh, I have a lot of friends who came from Pakistan. And uh, every, you know, every culture has their food that, uh, you know, you enjoy. And I, I absolutely love Indian food. Um, and, and Pakistani food, for sure. But not right now, because uh, I'm on a diet right now, so not right now. What time is it now? 7.58. Trying to think, I do have to go somewhere this morning. Actually, I actually I do have a hard out, guys. I have a hard out at 9.30. Though I, I think I'll be finished before then. I think I'll be finished before then. 9.30. I, you know, if I'm still working, if I absolutely have to leave, 9.30 is the time I actually have to leave. So. Huge drawing robots like Megazord, Transformers, in a similar way to drawing humanoid stuff. Absolutely. What makes drawing um, giant robots like that work is because they're structured like humans. That's why we relate to it. It's a subconscious thing. It's definitely a subconscious thing. But uh, I definitely structure it like you're drawing a human because uh, it makes it recognizable. If it has human proportions, we can relate to it more than if it didn't. Unless it's just like a far out there design. So absolutely, whenever I'm, I'm doing those giant Transformers drawings, of course, I'm, I'm treating them like a human first. And then doing, you know, adding all the details and stuff after. By the way, there's a dude who's trying to draw my, my Metroplex on Twitter. And I told him, before you continue with the details, because he drew a part of it and drew every single line I drew, okay? And I told him, before you add any more detail, draw the whole thing first. Like, draw the structure first. And then add the detail. Detail should be last. And then he got tired. And then he asked me, he goes, uh, James, can I, can I uh, just add some detail now? Because I'm kind of tired doing the structure. But it, the drawing was like uh, half done. So to the person that asked me that, the person that asked me that, if you're watching, uh, I'm not going to even reply until you're done the whole drawing. I'm not going to reply. Take that. <laughs> it's not often I answer uh, critiques on, on, tw on Twitter. But I always see people try to draw my drawings, but they're getting the order wrong. They want to get to the detail first. And we're really, drawings aren't about the detail, guys. It's not. This drawing is not about the detail. This drawing would mean nothing if the structure wasn't there. You could add as many lines as you want. I could add as many scales. As a good drawing. Unless the structure is there. Unless the perspective is there. Unless the anatomy is there. It doesn't matter. You could hide things. But it doesn't make it a good drawing. Because my friend here, what it, I, I noticed his perspective was very off. So, yes, he did all those lines. Yahoo. Yahoo. He did all the lines, but it doesn't mean anything if your perspective is wrong. Right? That's why I say, always say, learn the basics first, guys. Do the basics first. Get all that down. 
You can always add detail later. You can always add all that stuff. Okay, guys. Next. Next. Uh, what do we say? He said Bebop, Rocksteady, and possibly Krang, right? So I'm trying to think the best way to do this. Let me see Krang. I like Crane because he looks like this big plastic uh, thing, you know? Okay. I kind of want to draw Crane. Let's do Crane. All right. Let's do that. Okay. I find it harder drawing female characters than men. Any tips? Yep, start drawing females. <laughs> uh, Simon, uh, Simon Davis, um, here's a little tip for you. Whenever I draw women, less detail on the face. Less detail on the face, okay? There are features on a woman that's different than a man, okay? There is a lot of differences, but if you're gonna start somewhere, I would tell you less detail on the face because the more lines you add to a face, on a woman, the older she looks. The older she looks. Okay. So that start there. Start there. But again, there are like little differences, like the shape of the face and stuff that will help push it into that female territory. But it's hard. It's hard, guys. It's hard learning that, that stuff. So. Quick question for you. Uh, okay, Lay says, have you heard of G.I. Joe? Of course, I grew up with G.I. Joe. Let's see if there's any more questions here. No more questions here. Let's see here. Can I send you some uh, mech drawings on Twitter? Uh... Uh, maybe, maybe IG, since uh, we've been contacting on IG, Mario. Okay. Give you a little tips. Uh, do, the, do me a favor. Send me on IG, and then I'll give you the comp, my my critiques here. Wow. Okay? Since you're here every day. See, I'm happy to do that for Mario. Mario Mario been crazily holding down the fort for us every single day. So thank you so much, Mario. So, so much for, for helping me out. Really appreciate it, brother. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Lily says, which Stranger Things characters do you identify with? Mike, Lucas, Jeff, Dustin, or Will? Uh, I, uh, I'm not too familiar with Stranger Things. Uh, I'll identify with what? Red Guardian? <laughs> Red Guardian. What's his name again? Hopper? I think that's his, is that the name Hopper, guys? If anyone I identify with, it's Hopper. Hopper. You're the best. You're the best, Mario. You're the best. question from suture arts any god of war drawing or gameplay well you're in luck my friend we did uh, god of war literally uh last week so go back on my live streams my friend we did god of war we did it for two days uh, we did that last week so uh you can go check that out my friend a lot of fun i i highly enjoyed doing that god of war piece guys and thank you to everyone who suggested 
that we do got a war. I, I really enjoyed putting that piece together. Look, even looking at it now, I, I was looking at it this morning. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Now, of course, you're, you know, whenever you're looking at art before, you're always, you're always like, yeah, I could have done this, this, uh, this better, but... For, the, for what we did, for when we did it, for the amount of time we did it, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. So. Lay likes the uh, the trivia questions. Remember, Lay, I'm a, I'm an old guy, so all your trivia I probably know, and of course, of course, I do. That was Rick Moranis. His name's Rick Moranis. He said uh, Louis Tully from Ghostbusters is Dark Helmet. Yes, that's Rick Moranis, who was retired for quite a bit, but I think he he's uh, doing another movie now. I forgot I forgot what it was, but he was coming back to do a film. I forgot what it was. I, but I take that back there, uh, Lay. Is probably, there's some things I do know, some things I do know. Some things I don't know, some things I do know. But that I know. I knew that. I knew that trivia. I knew that trivia. Uh, Trevin asked about selling my artwork, if I have any available right now. We'll see sooner than later, my friend. Uh, you guys will be the first to know on, on this channel. Okay? So let's do this, guys. I'm, I'm coming down to the, the end of this drawing. We just got a few more to draw. Like, to be honest, I'm, I don't even know if I want to draw Rigby Bakker and Rob Steady, but I have to draw something on the other side. So I'm going to ask you guys. I'm going to ask you. Uh, what should we draw tomorrow, guys? What should we do tomorrow? Go ahead and throw it in the chat there. Things that you think we should do tomorrow. Chainsaw Man. I've never heard of that. What is that? A football llama. Maybe not that. What is Chainsaw Man, my friend? Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragons. That could be interesting. But Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, Yu-Gi-Oh! in general would be would be interesting. Digimon Street Fighter? Street Fighter would be fun. Definitely Street Fighter. Yes, about early Oliver Olive Tree King. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. The Hulk? No more Hulk. No more Hulk for a long while. <laughs> no more Hulk for a while, my friend. I'm, I'm hulked out. I could draw Hulk-like characters, but not Hulk. Not Hulk. Uh, you guys knew I did that 100 uh, Hulk drawing thing. That was a while ago, though. It was all right. Yeah, Henry gave me a lot of ideas already, but those were all 80s based. Those were all 80s based, Henry. The youngins won't know what those things are. The youngins won't know. How about something the youngins would know? What would the young people know these days? Okay, let's try to think of something obscure. Oh, I wouldn't say obscure. But something popular that you have not seen drawn in the way I draw it. How about that? Let's try it. Let's go from there. Okay? So that's your challenge. Something... So Sesame Street would be a good one, right? That'd be a good one. Sesame Street. Okay. Uh, let's see. Like One Piece, you know, something like that. Something you don't really see every day. Okay, that the kids would know. The kids would know. So I'm asking you kids. I'm a little uh, out of the age range here.
Let's see, Steven Universe. I didn't do that yet. Ultra Beast. I, again, Ultra Beast. If I do that, that would be like on the weekend. That'd be a weekend thing. In the sandwich. Pokemon. We said that. Fortnite. Probably not Fortnite. Yeah, I, I do Fortnite if I, we could find a little angle around it. Because instead of me just be drawing it in a marble side, like I, I did 700 of those, right? I did 700 of those. Now, Pokemon, on the other hand, if I did that, you know, yes, I did do like uh, 900 Pokemon. But if I drew those with like giant muscles or something like that, be interesting. Looney Tunes, Castlevania, Street Sharks. That's an older one. There you go. Saint Seiya character. I haven't heard of that one. We gotta look that up. Oh, here's one Demon Slayer. I could do Demon Slayer. That'd be interesting. Demon Slayer, Tiny Toons, Animaniacs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So again, I probably wouldn't do anything like Filipino related. Uh, I want something that... Ooh, Big Hero 6. That's interesting. That uh, piqued my interest a little bit there. Samurai Pizza Cats. I actually drew Samurai Pizza Cats once. I actually drew that once. Uh, somebody commissioned me to do Samurai Pizza Cats before. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah, if he likes the cat, three's company, buddy. <laughs> three's company. Pinky in the brain. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, Stranger Things, Cars the Movie. You know, if I were to do Cars, I would do them as Transformers. That's how I would do it. I would do Cars as Transforming Robots. That's how I would do Cars. What else here? Sort of Berserk, uh, Sailor Moon, Poppy Playtime. I was thinking about Poppy Playtime before. Um... But well, you know, that's kind of in the same vein as doing the Rainbow Friends, which actually didn't do too well for me. You know, Poppy Playtime, that's for kids. But they're scary, man. Poppy Playtime? It's really scary looking, man. I get scared. Are kids okay with that? These horror games, man. Horror games. Old, old landlord duty. Uh, dude, all buffed. You talking about uh, Mr. Furley? Or are we talking about Mr. Roper? Or both. There you go. Uh, Beetleborg, Sovereign Squad. I think uh, um, Henry Henry uh, gave me that uh, suggestion earlier. So definitely some fun suggestions here, guys. Definitely some fun suggestions you have for tomorrow. We'll see. So again, if once I figure it out, what I want to draw. So whenever I do a poll, guys, uh, I just don't do it because you guys suggested. I have to like it. Uh, so every time I do a poll, I'm like, okay, if this one, would I be happy drawing it? That's the number one thing. If this one, if this suggestion one, would I be happy, happy drawing it? And the answer for the most part, uh, and the answer of course has to be yes. Okay. So every time you see me put together a poll, I want to draw those things. So Ben 10, Titan one says. It's not a bad one. Ben 10. I wouldn't mind doing Ben 10. We've done it before on the stream, but I would like to do a better one. Like, I'm looking back at that old drawing. It's okay. People like it. People enjoy the draw. People enjoy. Enjoy that one. So I wouldn't mind doing it again, but doing it better. Quote, unquote, better. Because I even believe that one we did two streams for, right? If I'm not mistaken. We did two streams for that Ben 10 drawing. But I want to do it like a double page spread. And spend a bit more time on all the uh, aliens. So. 
Peanuts? That's an interesting one. I always think about Peanuts, too. I always think about Peanuts. Same with uh, Beavis and Butthead. I was thinking about that also. Biker Mice from Mars. More Jimmy Woo. Kim Possible, maybe. That's an interesting one. I don't mind that one. Kim Possible. So I'm going to put a uh, poll up. Not, not a poll, guys. I'm going to put a post up first. And you guys tell me. Uh, Paw Patrol, I did already, Trevin. And that's coming out later this week. Okay? Uh, I'm going to put up a post. And you guys tell me in that post who you want me to draw. Okay? So all the com all the suggestions you just gave me. Remember what they are. And then put it in that... that uh, that post for me. And then from there, I'm going to choose. And then we'll, we're going to have another poll. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Mummy's alive. That's old. Mummy's alive. I remember that. that. Mummy's alive. That I didn't know lie. I, I didn't know. Including Three's Company? Not not Three's Company money. I'm not going to choose Three's Company for sure. I do lay. She, he's a friend of mine. He's killing it. You won't find a more consistent uh, YouTuber than Popcross. Every single week, mo uh, Monday and Friday, very consistent. And always doing a stand up job. So, big shout out to my buddy Popcross. Double Dragon, 49. Yeah, Double Dragon. How you talking? Battletoads. I remember Battletoads, but I didn't, uh, I don't remember exactly what it's about. Old age, guys. Old age, I don't remember a lot of things these days. Okay, not the best, not the best Krang. I wish I could have drew it better. <sighs> Not the best crank, but it is what it is. Uh, Ren Stimpy, maybe? Ren Stimpy. Mortal Kombat, that would be a lot of fun. I'd love to do a Mortal Kombat. Again, talk about not good for kids. But again, a lot of kids play it. What time is it, guys? It's 8.20. Okay, so let's do Bebop and Rock City. We, we finish this sucker off. Okay, guys? Let's do it. Let's do it.
Wild thornberries, right on. I'm trying to think if I should draw like a leg down here at the bottom. Bebop Rocksteady. Guys, real tired. That's high praise, Oliver Treeking. Says I'm your new Jim Lee. I wish. Jim's the man. Mm -hmm. Do I remember Brave Star? Of course I do too. Of course I do. I saw some great uh, Brave Star uh, concept art on the weekend. The people like redesigned Brave Star. There's some great stuff. Like a lot of people like do that kind of stuff. You know? I did Popeye before, for sure. Ratchet and Clank, Fall Guys. I want Fall Guys, guys. That'd be an interesting one. Would you like Fall Guys? That'd be an interesting one. The Phantom? That's old. Okay. We're, we're finishing up here. Just... Energy's a little low now. I'm in the, um, I just want to get this done mode, so don't expect anything too life-changing in, sort of, in terms of the drawing I'm doing now, guys. It's more, let's just get it done. Let's just get it done. Again, this is where deadlines come into play. I, I, you know, for me, I, I think I've had, I won't say I had it, but... Uh, I gave myself a deadline to finish this today. And I don't want to spend any more time. Like really, I could say I gotta come back tomorrow and finish it. It would probably look better if I did that. But I'm committing myself like, no, no, no. We're doing new things tomorrow. I wanna get this done right now. So let's get this done right now. It won't be the most prettiest uh, last couple characters in the world, but CBB it could be better. But also GH, good enough, good enough. There you go.
Good enough. Again, shout out to my buddy Anthony Francisco who uh, worked on this movie, on the Turtles movie. Garbage Pail Kids? Now that's a blast from the past. There you go. There you go. Let's see here. I've heard of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs Mario. I think I've heard of that one. Apologies, I'm not as talkative right now, guys. Just try to finish this off. Let's finish it off. Sonic characters, John. We just did that last week also. Just a week or so ago. A week or so ago. That's what we did. So we'll go back and check out those old live streams of that. We go ahead and finish this off. Store opening soon, soon, my friend, soon. Just gotta get around with, to it. I, I know it needs to be open sooner than later, but uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, do you, did you do Mario characters? That I haven't done recently. Uh, we did that before. We haven't done that recently. See that? We got a little stain. A little stain. Little stain. We're almost there, guys. We're almost done. Almost done. Look at this. I'm giving Bebop a third chest. <laughs> okay, and let's do one more, guys. Rock steady, we done. Character here, guys. Last character, and we are turtled out. Though I, there's one part of the leg here I'm, I kind of want to draw because there's a little imbalance uh, in this drawing. Just a little bit more. My 
part of me like, should I flip it in here? Or should I flip it in here? I'm totally mailing it in, guys. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally mailing it in. But it's the last ones. Almost there, guys. Almost there, and then I can take a nap. So now's the time, guys. This is the time of the stream where I always... We go into rapid fire, okay? This is where your last chance to ask me a question during a stream while I... While I go ahead and finish this. So we no, no longer need to go to the community chat anymore. I'm just going to answer all the questions that's in the... That is in the live chat. Okay, so if you want to ask me a question in the live chat, now's your time. So please go to the live chat right now. Ask me any question you want uh, while we try to finish up uh, this art. Okay, so go for it. Bring it on. Uh, what markers am I using? These are permal pink markers. Uh, well, micro Sakura markers. Sakura. The friends at Sakura, they, they uh, provide with me with all of my art supplies and my pens. So thank you to Sakura for, for doing so. They are awesome. Thank you so much to Sakura. Okay. Uh, that's a good uh, trivia there, Lay. Uh, is there a lesser known TMNT character you want to see more of? Uh, not really. Maybe you guys would have a better answer for that than me. Because uh, I'm trying to think. I only know the the regulars, right? Like Bebop, Rocksteady, Krang, my favorite. So I'm not hugely, hugely into the lore. So maybe you guys could tell me which ones you would prefer. Yeah, the marker is a permal pig marker, John. Permal pig marker. What state do you live in? I don't live in a state. I live in a province of Ontario, Canada. Okay, so Toronto, Ontario, Canada. That's where I live. I am Canadian. Where's my Filipino friend say? Canadian. Canadian. Oh, you're Canadian. Oh, Canadian, huh? You must be rich, huh? You must be a rich guy. You're from Canada. Can I have some money, huh? You're from Canada. Can I have some money? You must be a rich guy. Oh, you're a rich guy, huh? Oh, you're getting fat. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what class of horror characters, what do you think about them and your style? So we talk about like, like uh, Frankenstein and all this. That'd be fun. That'd be interesting. Not too bad. But you know, when I was a kid, I was, I was scared of Dracula. I was uh, terrified of, uh, of vampires when I was younger. Terrified. So I don't want to scare her. Uh, who's my favorite artist? Currently, it's uh, KSE322. I think that's who it is on Instagram. I'm absolutely loving this dude's uh, work right now. I think he's Korean. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, in love with his work. I'm, I'm going to study it. 
study his work and try to figure out how he does that his stuff because his stuff is so awesome. It's my, my favorite artist. Right now. Have I seen the Mario trailer? I have, for sure. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're almost there. That's it. That's all we really need to do. We don't have to do anything. It's like I could add all these lines and stuff, but it won't add to it anyway. And again, it's one of those things where I'll probably come back into it tomorrow and say, with fresh eyes and say, you know, probably could have done this, 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 and that. But for now, that's where, where we are at right now. Okay, so guys, that is it. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Now let me turn this uh, so you guys can see a little bit more. And I, I just like to do a little pan. Here you'll see the full drawing when I, when I put the full video out. Okay, but you can see the full drawing. Uh, so Casey, there April's on that side, guys. There's April. For some of you asking where April is. And uh, yeah, whatever. That's it, guys. So thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Splitter's there, man. You got to find them. You got to find Splitter. Thank you so much, guys. So again, guys, keep those ideas coming. Keep those ideas coming. Uh, I will be putting up another post asking you what we're going to draw tomorrow. And then later today, uh, I'm going to have a poll, and you guys will decide what we are going to do tomorrow. And again, I always draw for two days. Two days. Whatever I can get done in two days, that's what we're going to do. But thank you to everyone in the chat. Thank you for everyone who posted in the community uh in the community po posts thank you so much you guys are the best and i love you all thank you for joining me today before i go you know what we do give me a high five here give me a high five right here my name is james i am the box office artist who said keep drawing i'll see you guys all tomorrow take care everyone good night or good morning bye bye bye, -bye everybody goodbye be safe do your thing do your thing